I didn't choose law enforcement, law enforcement kind of chose me. In the Marine Corps, it was honor, courage, and commitment. And I live by those values today. Um, no matter what we do, uh, it's, a, it's an honorable profession. Uh, being courageous in whatever you do, whether it's decisions you make on the road or decisions you make um, for the entire staff. Um, I'm Puerto Rican. I, I went to high school, middle school and high school in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico descent. Uh, joined the Marine Corps, you know, back in 1999, served four years and got on with a local law enforcement agency here back in 2003 and I've been here ever since. There's a large uh, population of, of Hispanics in this area and knowing Spanish obviously has allowed me to reach out to them and to speak their native language and, and to communicate with them and they could uh, communicate with me. We go to the schools and, and show that they do not have to be scared of us and that, that we're here to help and we're not here to, to hurt anybody. Camaraderie and professionalism making a difference. So that's why I became a cop. Everything you do, is, you're not expected to do it on your own. You've always got someone there to help you out. And I think that's the key factor. So if you don't know something or you're struggling with something, there's always someone there to help you out. Your family has to be on board. They have to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. So communication is key. You gotta let them know what's going on in your head. First and foremost, it has to come down to integrity. Um, if you don't have integrity, then you can't be a police officer. Uh, we want people who want to come in here, who want to work, who want to go out and serve their community. You're always going to be a police officer whether you're on duty or off duty, and your actions, whether on duty or off duty, are going to uh, define you and who you are. the best cops we have are straight out of the civilian world. Uh, I think if they want to be a cop, I think the most important thing is to do, do a ride along. Uh, go visit your local police department, find out what it's really about. Yeah, we get a lot of complaints here on the parkway and obviously we've had a lot of serious accidents last year. Uh, so I just wanted to stop and, uh, and issue, a, uh, issue a warning today just to, uh, just to educate you and get you to slow down a little bit, okay? I absolutely love the, the community-oriented uh, focus that the department has and the interaction. Um, and it's just a, it's an overall uh, great department to work for that, that is constantly being involved and engaged with the community in different public events. Uh, it's important to go out and be engaged and interact with the community uh, to build those partnerships to to meet the families and the young kids and the teenagers and the high school students. And I think when they see you on a, on a professional level, but on a level such as a cookout with the cops or a basketball game, it, it gives them a, a more of an opportunity to meet with you, uh, to get you know on a first name basis uh, and the same for us. And uh, I, I think that just pays dividends in the long run. Um, that, you know, if you happen to encounter them in an accident scene or something like that, they're, they're more personable. Uh, and more likely to come up to you. It's much more community related. You get to actually be out there with the people, uh, you get to interact with them and, and uh, kind of see what they're, what they're thinking, how to make the town better. Uh, that's one of the things that kind of sold me on this department, believe it or not. Uh, when I moved down here, uh, it was just me. I had a U-Haul and all my stuff in the back of the U-Haul. A buddy of mine was already working here, Jim Carmody. Uh, he grabbed a couple guys that were on the department. They came over and helped unload. They didn't know me, you know, but they came over and helped. want to work, who want to go out and serve their community. And that's what we're looking for with people who want to get hired here at the Bluffton Police Department. You never know what, uh, what the day is going to bring. But that's also one of the best parts about being a cop is you never know what the day is going to bring. Nothing's ever the same.